brackets in the, in the rust belt areas accumulate a lot of rust underneath the abutment clips. Pull the abutment clips off, and if you use a wire brush or a file to clean the brackets, here at our shop, what we typically do is sandblast the brackets. As you can see, we got this caliper bracket cleaned up pretty well. There was a lot of rust and corrosion underneath the abutment clips. Sandblasting does a wonderful job, but if you don't have a sandblaster, wire brush, and if you've got scale rust, the use of a file is pretty imperative. The next thing we'll do is install the abutment clips. What I always like to do is use a good silicone-based lubricant, and you want to lubricate where the clips go in. The reason I do that, it kind of seals off that virgin cast iron to alleviate any kind of rust and corrosion buildup underneath the clips. Now we'll install the abutment clips. Now before I install the abutment clip, what I like to do is lubricate the edge of the brake pad, the ears of the brake pad, with a good silicone-based lubricant. So they slide nice and easy within the abutment clips. And the other thing I like to do is test fit the pads to make sure that when you put them in, these pads slide with finger pressure. If they don't slide with finger pressure, they'll bind into caliper brackets. See how nice and easy that slides? Okay, we're ready to install this bracket.